my tiny tots what's up mom here i hope all of you have studied your lesson 6 plants in the surroundings and environment today our lesson is adaptation in plants first i'll give you revision test of lesson 6 then we'll start new chapter take out your copies write down date lesson 6 plants in the surroundings and environment total marks 10 question number 1 new words number 1 chlorophyll number 2 stomata leave one line question number 2 question answer first question what happens to the food made by plants i repeat what happens to the food made by plants second question name five useful things that plants give us second question name five useful things that plants give us leave one line third question fill up number 1 trees and shrubs have dash roots trees and shrubs have dash roots number 2 the dash is called the backbone of the plant the dash is called the backbone of the plant question number 4 true or false number 1 fibrous roots go deep into the soil fibrous roots go deep into the soil number 2 transpiration occurs through the roots transpiration occurs through the roots question number 5 tick the correct answer number 1 an example of medicinal plant is an example of medicinal plant is number 1 neem number 2 turmeric Number three, cinchona. Number four, all of this. All are done. Okay, students. I think so. You all have finished your revision test. Take out your books. Now we will start new chapter, lesson five. Adaptations in plants. Write down date. Do reading. underline adaptations in plants date do reading see the pictures right below each where would you see them number 1 in the hills number 2 in hot and damp areas number 3 in the plains All have written. Sure. Okay, students. Now we'll start reading. Students, you can see plants almost everywhere on the earth, on the land, on the mountains, in the plains, in the deserts, and in water. Do you see the plants on the land, on the mountains, in the plains, in the deserts? and in water plants differ from each other depending on where they grow listen students you know what is habitat the special place where plants grow is called their habitat what is habitat the special place where plants grow is called their habitat underline the special place where plants grow is called habitat the special features that plants have that enable them to survive in their surroundings is called adaptation underline the special features that plants have that enable them to survive in their surroundings is called adaptation it is because of adaptation to their surroundings 
their plants look different too. Listen students, plants can be classified in the two groups. Number one, terrestrial plants. Number two, aquatic plants. Two types, terrestrial plants, aquatic plants. Terrestrial plants, they are you see on the land. Aquatic plants, they grow in water. Number one, terrestrial plants, underline. Terrestrial plants are plants, they grow land. Underline. There are different type of terrestrial plants, depending on the conditions they grow in. In the hills. Underline. It is very cold in the hills. You know, na? it is very cold in the hills. It also snows in some hilly areas. Blow your mind. Underline this question. Why are trees on hills tall and straight? Write an answer there. To reduce the effects of snowfall and wind. Answer. To reduce the effects of snowfall and wind. The trees on hills have the following features. Number one. The trees are tall and straight. In the hills, the trees are tall and straight. Underline. The leaves are needle-like and can withstand the cold conditions. Underline needle-like. The trees have sloping shape that makes rainwater and snow fall off easily. Underline sloping shape. Students, they have cones instead of flowers. Hence, they are called conifers. Why we call them conifers? They have cones. They have cones instead of flowers. Understand? Cones, flowers. Hence, they are called conifers. Underline conifers. Listen, you know, beta, what are evergreen plants? The trees have their leaves. Throughout the air, they are called evergreen trees. What are evergreen trees? The trees have their leaves throughout the air. They are evergreen trees. Underline. Understood in the hills? Revise for two minutes. Example, pine fir. Pine fir. Next, in deserts. Underline in deserts. You know, beta, there is very little water in the deserts. And it is hot and dry. There is very little water in the deserts and it is hot and dry. Cactus is a common plant found in the desert. Which plant is found in the deserts? Cactus. Underline. Number one. The roots are spread far out. Number two, the leaves of cactus are reduced to spines to prevent water loss. The stem is green and fleshy. The stem is green and fleshy. Food is prepared in the stem. Underline green and fleshy. Prickly pear, date palm, mesquite bush are examples of desert plants. Underline cactus. Cactus is a common plant seen in the deserts. Revise for two minutes. Next we will do in the plains.